THQ. Bob and his friends fix up the old castle and have lots of fun, too. If you're playing for the first time, click on an empty shield. You can choose a picture here for your shield and also type your name. If you don't want to type your name, just choose a picture you like. Doctor Who? Oh, yes, well, of course we're interested. We? You better come right over. Absolutely. No problem. See you soon. Goodbye. Who was that, Dad? Oh, it was Dr. Mont something or other from the Heritage Watson. Wants to talk to us about a castle. A, a castle? She's a beauty. Look, Bobby. Wow. This is the castle gatehouse. Move your cursor around the screen and click on the games you'd like to play. You can move Bob around the gatehouse by clicking anywhere in the picture. Play the games in the maze. You can change your difficulty levels, audio and music volume from this screen. This will be easy. Hmm, a bit harder. Can you fix it? This will be the hardest. Play games to fix and decorate the castle walls? Let's play the castle walls games. Play Robert fixes holes. You can change your difficulty levels, audio and music volume. Play Robert fixes holes. This is Robert Fixes Holes. Robert has to fix all the holes in the castle wall. But before he can fill each hole, he needs your help to get the crows out of them. Luckily, Dizzy and Skip are on hand to help. Oh, and Spud, of course. First, Skip delivers some bricks. He delivers some more every time you run out of them. When Spud puts some birdseed on the table, a crow will fly out. As soon as it does, move Robert close to the bricks and then choose the right-shaped brick for that hole. Now Robert must hurry to fill in the hole before the crow finishes the bird seed. This game can be played with the mouse or keyboard, so to move Robert, just click to the left or right of him and he will walk over to where you click. The cursor shows you where Robert can and can't walk. 
or use the arrow keys. If Robert needs to use the elevator, just click on the elevator and he gets in, or move Robert to the elevator with the left and right arrow keys. To move the elevator up or down, either use the up and down arrows in the picture or use the up and down arrow keys. By the way, if the hole gets filled before the crow finishes the seed, Dizzy finds it a new home. But if Robert doesn't fill it in time, the crow flies back to its hole and Robert has to start again. Watch out for Spud. He loves scaring the birds away from the bird table. <laughs> well, he is a scare crow after all. <laughs>「Don't worry, son. I can take care of fixing the castle walls. After all, Dr. Mount Fitchett says it's a difficult job. But, Dad... Yes, yes. Since it's such a difficult job, she needs someone just like me with years and years of expert experience. But, Dad, I... Now, Bobby, if you're looking for something to do, why don't you go and help Wendy? Oh, okay, Dad. After all, what could possibly go wrong? Only a few holes to fix, but watch out for those crows! Thank you, Skip! That's okay, Bob's dad. Do you need some more seed for the crows? Brilliant! This is easy. Bob will be pleased. Hello, crow. Follow me! That fits, Bob's dad. I believe I'm helping crows! Do you need some more seed for the crows? <laughs> I think you need some of my help, Bob's- Oh, Spud! You shouldn't have done that! Do you need some more seed for the crows? I fixed this part of the wall before that crow got back. Crows can come with me! That fits, Bob's dad! Oh, wow! I can't believe I'm helping crows! What a great job I'm doing! Crows can come with me! That fits, Bob's dad! Wonderful job! Not many to go now, huh? Rose can come with me! Thank you, Skip! That's okay, Bob's dad. That fits, Bob's dad! What a great job I'm doing! Hello, Crow! Follow me! That fits, Bob's dad! Oh, wow! Super Spud to the rescue! I can't believe I'm helping crows! Wonderful job! Not many to go now, huh? Rose can come with me! That fits, Bob's dad! Brilliant! 
I fixed this part of the wall before that crow got there. Hello, crow. Follow me. That fits, Bob's dad. What a great looking wall! Hello, Crow! Follow me! Now, what have you done with those crows, Dizzy? <laughs> <laughs> I like a happy ending! <laughs> great work! You helped Robert fix all the holes in the castle wall. You get this great reward because you've done such a wonderful job on Robert Fix's Holes. We'll put this picture in the special chest in the gatehouse where you can print it out so that you can color it in. Do you want to play Robert Fix's Holes again? I'm Wendy, and I can help you if you're stuck. Click on me, and then click on the part of the screen that you need help with. You can change your difficulty. Play Dr. Mount Fidget's Flags. Dr. Mount Fidget's Flags. Dr. Mount Fidget is decorating the castle with flags and banners for the medieval pageant. But oh, Dear, some of the flags have blown off, and she needs your help, not Spud's, to put them up again. All of the flags are in a special pattern. Try to work out the order of the flags. Click on the flag at the bottom of the screen that you think is missing from the pattern, and Dr. Mount Fitchett will put it in place. Then she moves on to the next one. Dr. Mount Fitchett will start with the first missing flag and will keep moving around the castle until all the flags are back in their place. Just watch out for Spud. You can help make the castle look great for the pageant. This looks terrific. What a great job. But I can't help feeling that there is something missing. I know, I know. It needs an airplane to land on top of it. <laughs> I think the walls just need a bit of decoration instead. Such beautiful patterns to make. It will look so nice at the pageant when it's finished. Click on a patterned flag. Which one fits here? Oh, I think that might look better somewhere else. Click on a patterned flag. Which one fits here? Super Spud to the rescue! That looks great there. Good. The medieval pageant is going to start soon. Uh, maybe someone else needs your help, Spud. These are going to look beautiful for the pageant. Terrific! Magnificent! 
That looks great there! Terrific! Magnificent! Congratulations! You finished the Dr. Mount Fidget's Flags game. You get a special reward because you've done such a wonderful job with Dr. Mount Fidget's Flags. This picture is now stored in the special chest in the gatehouse. You can print it out so that you can color it in. Do you want to play Dr. Play games to fix and decorate the castle wall. Play the games in the maze. Let's get lost in the maze. Run a race. Play make a maze. Make a maze. This is Make a Maze. Control Lofty's hook by moving your mouse. First, click on the piece of maze that Scoop brings in, then fit it into the maze. The shapes on the ground give you a clue. When you think it is in the right place, click again to let go of the piece. But you have to hurry. Priscilla is grazing nearby. If a piece of the maze is left too long, Priscilla will wander over and eat it. But don't worry you get another piece. Be as quick as you can. Finish the maze before Priscilla eats three pieces. Otherwise, the game's over. Get ready to make a maze and keep an eye on that Priscilla. Dr. Mount Fitchett has asked if we can fix the old maze in the castle grounds. That sounds like a fun job. Lofty, we'll need you for this job. We will need to fix the maze before everyone arrives for the pageant. Uh, okay. Okay. Get ready to help Lofty make a maze. Here you go, Lofty. Oh, this maze is almost finished. Now that looks nice. Whew. Here's the next piece. Bob is going to be really happy when he sees this maze. This is fun. Whew. Here's the next piece. Bob is going to be so pleased. This is fun. Another piece of hedgehog? Bob is going to be so pleased. Here's another one. Oh, wow. We did it. This will be fun for the pageant. Well done. You've made a beautiful maze for Bob's medieval pageant. People will have such fun. Here's your reward because you've done such a wonderful job making the maze with Lofty. This picture is stored in the special chest in the gatehouse. Open the special chest to print it out and color it in. Do you want to play ma- Play Find a Friend. Find a friend with Bob. This is Find a Friend. Bob's friends are lost in the maze. You can help him find them and get them all out of the maze before it gets too dark to see. You can move Bob around the maze either by using the mouse or the keyboard. Move the mouse to where you want Bob to walk, then click to make him walk there. The cursor shows you where Bob can and can't walk to. Just remember that Bob can't walk through walls. If you want to use the keyboard to move Bob around the maze, use the arrow keys to make him walk left and right and up and down. By the way, keep an eye on the timer at the top of the screen. When it runs out, Bob has run out of time to find his friends. Hi, Bob. We've got your order here. <laughs> Thanks, Skip. Thanks, Trix. No problem, Bob. I'd better go and see how everyone is getting along with the maze. Hi, everyone. Hello. Is anyone in here? Oh, um, hello, Bob. Exactly where are you, Wendy? Oh, dear. 
I think I'm lost in the maze, Bob. Well, try to stay where you are, and I'll come and find you. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, thanks, Bob. Spud? That would be terrific, Bob. And Dr. Mount Fitchett? Thanks, thanks Bob. Bob. Is that JJ and Molly, too? Here we go. Where is everyone? Ooh, what fun. Whee! This Follow is me quickly. fun. We have to Head hurry. Me, Bob. It will be dark soon. Bob? Hello? Are you there? Follow me quickly. It's getting late. <laughs> this is fun. Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. Whoops. Follow me quickly. We have to hurry. It will be dark soon. I'd better come with you, Bob. Whoops. Great job! You helped Bob find his friends and save them all from being lost in the maze. Here's a reward because you've done such a wonderful job finding all of Bob's friends. This picture will be stored in the special chest in the gatehouse where it can be printed out so that you can color it in. Choose a level to play again. Run a race. Ready, set, go. Run a race. This is run a race. Choose Spud or one of the others and try to find your way to the middle of the maze as fast as you can. First, choose a character by clicking on Spud Molly, JJ, or me, Wendy. Then get ready to start the race. Use the mouse or the keyboard to move your character. Move the mouse to where you want your character to walk, then click to make your character move there. Or use the arrow keys on the keyboard. What are <laughs> you doing, Spud? I'm practicing for the maze race, of course. Oh, Spud. <laughs> Choose who you want to be by clicking on a character and race your way to the middle of the maze. <laughs> oh, goody, a running race. This is going to be fun. Right. A running race through a maze. <laughs> oh, goody, a running race. Okay, everyone ready? One, two, three... Go! This is fun. I'm gonna get to the middle first. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Spud's on the job, Bob. This is fun. Which way did I just come from? Spud's finished the job. You've done really well in the Run a Race game. You deserve a special reward. You'll find this picture in the special chest in the gatehouse. Open the chest to print out the picture so that you can color it in. Choose a level to play. When you finish playing a game, open this special chest for some great treasure. Play lots of fun games in the dungeons. Click on the pageant banner after you've finished all of the games for a special surprise. Play some exciting games at the moat. Let's play the moat games. Play Pilchard's Lunch Run. 
Help out with Pilcher's lunch run. The castle adventure is going so well that Pilchard wants to help, too. She wants to move all of her cans of cat food from one side of the moat to the other. Pilchard must jump from log to log until she reaches her cans on the other side of the moat and then bring them back to her bowl. First, move your cursor to where you want Pilchard to jump. Then click. If you want Pilchard to jump onto a log, Make sure that the log is right in front of Pilchard before you click on it. You can also move Pilchard by using the arrow keys on the keyboard, left or right, up or down. If you wait too long or jump before the log has floated in front of Pilchard, she may fall into the water. And remember, Pilchard doesn't like water very much. But then again, neither does Muck. If Pilchard falls into the water three times before she has moved all of her cans of cat food, the game is over. Muck will be on hand to keep an eye on Pilchard. Phew! Time for some lunch, Pilchard? Oh no! But your food is on the other side of the moat! Don't worry, Pilchard. I'll go and get Bob to give you your lunch. What's that, Pilcher? You want to help Bob, too, and get your own lunch? But how will you get across? You don't even like the water. It's lunchtime. Pilcher's helping out by getting her own food. Look at Pilcher jump! I wish I could jump like that. Oh, I can't watch. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, she's doing so well. Pilchard? Well done! You've helped Pilchard on her lunch run. Here's a reward because you've done such a wonderful job on Pilchard's lunch run. This picture is stored in the special chest in the gatehouse where it can be printed out so that you can color it in. Choose a
Play Spuds Recycling Fun. Let's go and play Spuds Recycling Fun. This is Spud's Recycling Fun. Help Spud clean out the moat and put the trash in the special recycle bins. Spud has to clean out things made out of wood, like tree branches or logs, plastic, like shopping bags or plastic bottles, and metal, like tin cans or the rims of bicycle wheels. To move Spud along the bank, click your mouse to the left or right of him. Or you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Then, when Spud is right in front of a piece of trash you want him to pick up, click on the trash and Spud scoops it up in his net. What fun! The trash floats around, so be quick at picking it up or it might sink. To put the trash that's in the net into the recycle bin, click on the recycle bin behind Spud. Just watch out for Spud. Sometimes he can get a little carried away. Dr. Mount Fitchett has asked us to clean up the moat. Yeah, I had a look earlier and it's full of garbage, like bits of wood and glass and metal. <laughs> I know. Why don't we recycle what we clear out? Then we can use it all somewhere else. <laughs> Good idea, Wendy. But how are we going to get all the garbage out before the pageant starts? Spud the Superfishing Scarecrow is on the job, Bob! The moat's a real mess. Time for the big cleanup. Well done, Spud! Fantastic job! You've cleaned out the moat in Spud's Recycling Fun. You've received this reward because you've done such a wonderful job in Spud's Recycling Fun. This picture is stored in a special chest in the gatehouse where it can be printed out so that you can color it in. Choose a left. Play game? Play lots of fun games in the dungeons. Let's play the dungeon games. Play spotting spiders. Let's go and play spotting spiders.
This is spotting spiders. Bob makes his way through the dungeons underneath the castle until he comes across a door covered with small spiders. He needs to get through this door to get to the next room. When he looks closer, he can see that the spiders move away when he shines his flashlight on them. Help Bob clear the doorway with the flashlight. When you move the mouse, you move the light. So move the light over a spider and see how it climbs up its thread. Hold the light on the spider for long enough and it crawls away. If the light isn't on the spider, it starts to climb down its thread again. Not all spiders move up or down over the doorway. There are some that move sideways. Look out for those. As soon as you have cleared away all the spiders from the door, it opens and Bob can get through. What will he find through this door? Thank you, Dr. Mount Fitchett. Really? Some important pieces of old treasure in the dungeons? Huh, very interesting. Goodbye. Was that Dr. Mount Fitchett? What was that about treasure in the dungeons? Dad? Dad? Oh, I hope Bob likes spiders. That's it. You go, spider. I'd better hurry before they all come back down again. Off you go, spider. Goodbye, spiders. I'd better hurry before they all come back down again. They've almost all gone. That should fix them. golden crown. This must be really, really old. Hooray! You've helped Bob in spotting spiders and found the treasure. You get a great reward because you've done such a wonderful job with spotting spiders. This picture is in the special chest in the gatehouse where you can print it out so that you can color it in. Choose a level to play again. Play hunting, play stepping stones. Help Bob play stepping stones. In stepping stones, Bob has found himself some help from a mouse who wants to help him open the next door. A mouse pops out of her little door and shows Bob a pattern by jumping on the stones in a special order. Click on the stones in exactly the same order as the mouse to make Bob repeat the pattern. If it is the same, the door opens and Bob can go into the next room. What surprise lies behind this door? Huh, what's this, I wonder? <laughs> Hello there. Wow! So if the mouse-sized stones open the mouse door, I wonder if the big ones open the big door. Can I fix it? Yes, I can! Look and listen. Is that a mouse? <coughs> How did that tune go again? Dude, I wonder if I should knock on the mouse. Dude, I wonder if I should knock on the mouse door. Dude, 
dude. Dude, I wonder if I should do. Maybe I need to do what the mouse does. Dude, great, dude. Woohoo! Dude, yes, dude. Great, dude. Great, dude. Great. It's exactly the same. Amazing! An ancient goblet! I'll bet Dr. Mount Fitchett would love to see this. You've really helped Bob jump on the stepping stones in the right order and found the treasure. There's a special reward for you because you've done such a wonderful job with stepping stones. This picture is in the special chest in the gatehouse where it can be printed out so that you can color it in. Choose a le Play hunting keys. Let's go hunting keys. Bob is deep in the dungeons and hunting keys. He finds himself in a room with lots of different treasure chests. Inside every colored chest, Bob can find a colored key. Each chest has only one key that opens it. And this key is the same color as the chest it opens. To start with, move the cursor to the point where you want Bob to go and then click to make him walk there. If Bob can walk to that point, he will. But remember, there are lots of things in the dungeon that Bob can bump into. The cursor shows you where Bob can and can't walk to. Or you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard. When Bob picks up a key, move Bob over to a colored treasure chest with the same colored key. Bob opens the chest, and another colored key sits inside, which Bob will pick up. The last colored key found opens the door, and Bob can move into the next room. What will he find there? Huh, what's going on here? Oh, <gasps> now I understand. Colors! Time to go a-hunting for keys. Wow, it's really dark in these dungeons. Ouch. Ouch. Now, where's the orange chest for this key? Ouch! Can't get through there. I found a light blue key. Ouch! I can't get through. Now, where's the silver chest? Ouch! This is a dark blue key. This purple key can go in my pocket. Wow! I found the last key. I bet this will open the door. chest with gold coins. I'll bet the chest is filled with them. And Dad, here you are. I found you. Hello there, Bobby. Now I have found you. Let's get going. You sure did take your time. Okay, Dad. Let's try this way. What would Bob have done without your help? You've helped Bob in hunting keys and found the treasure. Because you've done such a wonderful job with hunting keys, you get a great reward. 
This picture is in the special chest in the gatehouse where it can be printed out so that you can color it in. Choose a level to play a game. Play Hunting Keys. Play games to fix and decorate the castle wall. When you finish playing a game, open this special chest for some... When you finish playing a game, open this special chest for some great treasure. This is where you can find all the drawings. Oh, oh you've done some great work. What a wonderful picture! You've done some great work! You should print that picture! Perfect! Thanks for all your help! You should print that picture! You should print that picture! What a wonderful! Thanks for all your help! If you print this out, you can color it in! Print this picture out to color it in! Thanks for all your help! Good job! Oh! How you you should print that picture. Thanks for all your help. Oh, how beautiful. You should print that picture. If you print this out, you can color it in. Thanks for all your help. Good job. Perfect. Click on the pageant banner after you've finished all of the games for a special surprise. Click here and come to Bob's Medieval Pageant. Let's go to Bob's Medieval Pageant. Welcome. Welcome. It's wonderful of you to join me at this magnificent pageant. Please join in in all the revelries. It's such fun. Well done. You've done really well helping Bob fix up the castle. Now here are some special things for you to say thank you for all your help. See Bob's Postcard Parade. Bob's Postcard Parade. This is Bob's Postcard Parade. We are all having fun at the medieval pageant. Click on someone's face and then click on the hole in the postcard where you'd like the face to appear. Then do the same for the other hole in the postcard. You can even add your face. You can change the background by clicking on a different postcard background on the side. Then, when you're happy with your picture postcard, you can print it out. When you're finished playing this game, Click the back arrow to go back and choose another activity from Bob's Medieval Pageant. You made it! There's so much fun to be had at Bob's Medieval Pageant! Hey, it's me! <laughs> Hello! Who's your favorite character? There's me, Wendy, JJ, Molly, <laughs> There's so many. Who are you going to play with next? Who are you going to play with next? You could make Robert into a dragon. Or Spud could be a gallant knight. Where are you going to place your next face? I think Molly could look lovely as a damsel. Who's your favorite character? There's me, Wendy, JJ, Molly. <laughs> Who are you going to play with next? Or Spud could be a gallant knight. Hey, it's me! <laughs> Hello! Where are you going to place your... Where are you going to place your next face? Who are you going to play with? You could make Robert into a dragon. 
where are you going to place your next? I think Molly could look lovely as a damsel. You could make Robert. Who's your favorite character? There's me, Wendy. Where are you going to place your next face? Choose where to place your character by clicking on a hole in the background. Hey, it's me! <laughs> Hello! You could make Robert into a dragon. I think Molly could look lovely as a damsel. Where are you going to place your next face? You can scroll through the faces by clicking on Who's your favorite character? There Who are you going to play with next? Or Spud could be a gallant knight. Hey, it's me. <laughs> Hello. Who's your favorite character? Who are you going to play with next? Who are you going to play with next? You can scroll through the faces. You could make Robert in. Who are you going to play with? Choose where to place your character, but you could make Robert into a dragon. Where are you going to place your next face? You could make Robert into a dragon. Who's your favorite character? There's me, Wendy, JJ, Molly. <laughs> There's so many. Or Spud could be a gallant knight. Choose where to place your character by clicking on a hole in the background. Hey, it's me. <laughs> Hello. You could make Robert into a dragon. Who's your favorite character? There's me, Wendy, JJ, Molly. <laughs> There's so many. Choose where to place your character by clicking on a hole in the background. Do you want to exit this game? Well done! Watch Bob's Picture Show! Welcome. Welcome. It's wonderful of you to join me at this magnificent pageant. Please join in in all the reveries. It's such fun.
Well done. Click here. Bob says, good job. Here is your very own certificate from Bob. Just to say thank you for the great job you've done. Well done! You've done really well helping Bob fix up the castle. Now here are some special things for you to say thank you for all your help. Click here and come to Bob's Medieval... Welcome to Bob's Castle Adventure. Click on your shield or click on an empty shield to start a new game. To delete a shield, First click, do you want to exit Bob's Castle Adventure? Click.